Hello friends, today I would like to share a devotional on peace. When you think of the word peace, what do you think of? Do you think of that perfect vacation on a Caribbean island? White sand, clear blue water, nice gentle waves, perfect temperature, not too hot, not too cool. How about your favorite food? Is it steak and shrimp, a favorite pizza? How about favorite ice cream or dessert? How about financial peace? Plenty of money, no worries. How about family peace? Perfect marriage, perfect kids, perfect friends. How about health peace? Feel great, don't have any sickness, no aches or pains. How about going where you want, when you want, and do what you want? No worries, right? Well, all that sounds perfect. So how do you define peace? Let's look at the definition of peace. Peace is a stress-free state of security, absence of mental stress or anxiety. We can look at life right now, and life is not peaceful. These are times of uncertainty. This coronavirus has our attention, and the attention of the whole world. We don't understand it. People are getting sick, people are dying, it's spreading. Doctors don't completely understand it. There is no for sure cure. Life is chaotic. Life can often feel so chaotic as our jobs might be stressful. Maybe you aren't working due to this virus. Financial woes, struggling relationships, kids stuck in the house, running out of things for them to do. Maybe other things are going on in your life. All of this can be just too much for us to handle. It's no surprise that we find ourselves begging for just a moment of peace. I have to ask myself daily, do I find peace in the world or what do I find peace in? When it comes to finding peace, the world can't offer us peace because it has nothing in which to place its hope, trust, and security in. What the world values is always changing, like the passing of tides. It comes in and it goes out. It's here today and gone tomorrow. What's new and exciting now is worn out sometime in the near future. Hebrews 13.8 reminds us that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. A number of years ago, I was having coffee with a brother. He asked me what I thought was a simple question. <clears throat> he asked me, what do you worry about? I answered a couple of things that was on my heart at that time. And as I finished, he said to me, instill this scripture on your heart and it will change your life forever. It was Matthew 6, 27. Jesus said, can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? He wrote that on a sticky note and told me to carry it with me. The more I carried it around with me, the more I began to really understand that what Jesus was telling me was, let me carry that worry or burden for you. Just give it to me and free yourself of that. Once I heard Jesus telling me that, and I realized I don't have to worry, he's going to take care of the problem. He has the issue covered. I felt at peace. That's where I found my peace, in Him, in Jesus. 1 Peter 5, 7 says, Cast all your cares on Him, because He cares for you. I always love Easter. Easter is a joyful time. We celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. He is risen. It's a joyful time of year. It's springtime. Things are coming to life after a cold, dark winter days. Trees are budding out and flowering. Flowers are coming up. Grass is greening up. Birds are chirping. It's getting warmer outside. People are going for walks, doing things outside. It's new life after usually a long winter. You know the thing is, we should celebrate Easter every day, all year long. Jesus is alive and he is just waiting for me and you to reach out to him and say, let's do life together. He is there when I wake up 
reaching out his hand and saying, let me help you up. He is there when things are going well, saying, let's celebrate. He is there when things are tough, saying, give that to me. Let me take that burden. He is there when things are uncertain, saying, follow me. It's all going to be okay. He is there when you lay down for rest, saying, sleep peacefully. I'm right here. I'll be waiting for you when you wake up. When it comes to real, true life peace, it is a commodity that can only be found in Jesus and time spent seeking Jesus. We each have a choice. Do I do life my way, my plan, my direction, my desires? Or what if we said, Jesus, let's do life together today. Jesus, let's do your plan for my life today. Jesus, let's go your direction today. So what is your choice? Where will you find peace? I would love to close with a prayer for you today. Precious Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and an opportunity to seek you and serve you. As we come before you, there are many uncertain things that are happening in our lives and around the world. But one thing is for certain, you are always with us. As we look at the worries and concerns in our lives, we ask that you would take all of those worries and concerns away. I pray that you would go before each one of us. Lord, I pray that if someone is watching this and they have not surrendered their life to you and asked Jesus into their heart, that they would feel a nudging from you. May their hearts be open to you and your direction for their lives. Meet them right where they are. Lord, may we find peace in you. We love you. In the precious name of Jesus we pray. Amen.